Hi, Floss Tube. Long time no see. Here's Sophie saying hello before she takes a nap, no doubt. It's been so long, uh, over a year. A lot has happened. Uh, last time when I started, it was just a couple days after uh, the schools had closed. And then that weekend was my last grocery trip out of the house. Uh, and I did 81 days. Uh, our family, like, quarantined, waiting and waiting. And we just did um, food delivery and just didn't go into any stores or buildings. for. The, uh, we didn't quite make it 90 days, but... I was through the whole uh, t toilet paper debacle, um, making masks, being told they're not good enough, or whatever, even though I followed nurses and uh, um, virologists' uh, patterns and stuff and used like double non woven layers and stuff, so it was like medical grade. Um, and then everyone got on board with masks and started selling them and everything. Um, and then we had Tiger King, we had Grogu, um, then they decided to loosen up and they tied back up again and then they've never really gotten better, uh, but people are being vaccinated so hopefully we're nearing the end of all this. Uh, we did get pre-registered for ours uh, to get a call hopefully this week to get scheduled for like a mass vaccination, uh, vaccination site. Um... I can't think of much else in between. The kids have been homeschooling, you know, doing the virtual school uh, for the spring, fall, this semester. They don't get to go back. They weren't one of the groups to go back this year, so the fall will be it. And uh, by then, I think all, everyone in the house can be vaccinated because we're all over 12. So I hope everyone that's watching has uh, survived with their mental health intact. Um, not to mention their health, and um, I'm, uh, my heart goes out to uh, everyone that's lost people during this year. Um, so I know we've all used our hobby as our form, our biggest form of stress relief, and I speak for everyone because uh, we all have unanimously uh, communicated that this is like our community online and having people to talk to about it and how um, just the counting itself um, methodically is uh, like a form of meditation um, so it's a very good uh, non-medication form of uh, stress relief and I think it's helped us all get through it um, we've become uh, not only crafters but craftivists because along with COVID came many uh, social and political uh, issues that we all as a uh, collaboratively um, stitched, designed, um, followed, supported, um, in some cases boy boycotted. Um, some people marched um, and protested. Uh, this week particularly has been hard watching the trial. Um, Derek Chauvin, for me, I've been able to have time to watch it the whole trial. Um, so I'll pick that up on Monday, I guess. We'll see where this goes. Um, but I, I appreciate everyone in the community. I, I appreciate the year worth of, YouTube, of floss tubes that you've all provided me while I was not, um, like, just, I just wasn't mentally feeling up to, uh, you know, putting a face on and doing my hair or anything. Not that this is just how I look this year. This is what we do now. Uh, so thanks for your providing me entertainment and motivation and all the designs because through uh, the spring and summer last year, the Be Well and Stitch uh, hashtag came out and all the designers provided free patterns for us. And that literally gave me everything. Since my last video, when I was still like a one year beginner, I stitched everyone's patterns, like 15 of them. I still have a little stack left that I may or may not get to. Um, but it got me to know the designers, and then I've since bought all of their patterns. Um, uh, but it's been a lot of fun. I think I need to pause, and let's come home. I'll, I'll be back. Okay. All set. Uh, one of my sons went running, so he's back from that. And the dog has to get very excited about everything. Everyone that comes and goes, that no matter how many times you go a day, she is super excited or crushed that you have left the house. 
Uh, I think everyone's dogs in America, if not around the world, are going to have a real wake-up call when their uh, owners have to all go back to work out of the, out of the house. And they're left alone. They don't have 24-7 pets. What are they going to do? <laughs> all right. Well, I think I'll start, since I was just mentioning all the Be Well and Stitch, I'll, I'll show those. I have so It's just too much. I'm probably not even going to get it's all onto the floor. You can see the stack here. Uh, then there's a bin. <laughs> I've done a lot, bought a lot. Uh, it's been a very productive year. I don't even know what I can do. What can you do with like a hundred stitches? <laughs> you know, like I thought maybe I'll make a quilt out of these uh, Be Well and Stitch ones or maybe bags. Uh, give me ideas, please. Um, all right, let me start with one of the ones I really like. As I I started using my old stash of all of my uh, DMC floss and Ada that had been given to me. So as I got better, I then did start collecting uh, linens and stuff. So uh, I think this one is a 32 count. And this one, oh, ooh, this is Heartstring Samplery. Um, and it's We Are the Same is what this one was called. It has a flower border that comes with it too. I didn't make it to that. And I think it will fit actually nicely in a frame like this or it can be turned into anything since I saved all the extra fabric around the edge. Um, let's see, there was a donut day. <laughs> the the uh, Frosted Pumpkin Citry has a little donut one. I'll probably put it in the tiny hoop and do it just like they did. It was just cute. And that's linen. That was some stash that crispy old, um, I can't even think of the brand, but it, it comes in rolls and stuff and it's very hard. Uh, I already showed that one last time. Let's see, Choose Happy is hands-on design. That was a good, I used a variegated floss, I think, like for the first time. And it's just huge, this must be like 11 count. So I'm up to 40 now. I'm super blind, but over the year I've uh, I've got lots of lamps and uh, clip my clip on and like super strong readers and now I feel comfortable doing tiny uh, tiny fabric when I'm in the mood. I, you'll see I have a mix of literally every stitch count and every color. Um, all right, Bendy Stitchy, I love hers. Was very cool. And I, I do a lot of uh, Frosted Pumpkin, you'll notice. The uh, pinata had a hashtag for uh, Cinco de Mayo, I believe. This one was super cute. Little bee Autumn Lane Citry. Fox and Rabbit Designs had a good one. So look these if you're looking for free patterns and you didn't know these all existed just take notes um, this one is cottage garden I don't know why I'm not I'm holding them back here instead of holding them up there for you but that that bird is really nice everyone liked that one cottage garden then I also love this one who am I looking at here I cannot tell who the designer is. Somebody tell me if I, I must not have printed everything out or they just uh, didn't put their name on it. Yeah, I am definitely not seeing a name on it and I am sorry I forgot. It has been a year. Oh, I really like this one. I like all of them. I mean, I wouldn't have done them if I didn't like them. Who do we have here? Creative Whims Studio. And of course, we have the Satsuma Street. Almost everybody did this one. It's just so colorful and awesome. Again, you could, I don't, don't want to like show the pattern. I'll cover it up here, but this is how I I use my stash. I have like a, in my first video, I put a link to the DMC converter. It converts it from DMC to DMC, but it just, you type in any DMC number and it'll give you like five similar and it shows the shades next to each other so you can 
decide which one you want to use, uh, whether it's darker, lighter, or practically the same. Um, it has helped me not have to buy one single DMC since. So I just am using what I have. It's really working. Be Well Mini Bouquet. This one, Jeanette Douglas. So uh, these were all like, uh, what some, was it Michelle Bendy said she made up the uh, stitch and finish, SAF stitch and finish, because it's all one day. Tell me if I'm wrong on who, who uh, came up with that. Everybody's using it now. And every Saturday I watch the Stitching with the Housewives. This was their contribution. Oh, I love the B. I love bees. I said it last time. All the kids' names start with B. Our last name is B. I've just made bees our thing, okay? And this one is the Blackberry Rabbit. Yep. Very nice. We have Don't Panic. And I'm tiny. Oh, this Fiddlesticks, the Australian designer. This is another one I used up a piece of 11 count. I just chopped it up and did some of these. Oh, I love this big on black. For, also from Fiddlesticks. And eh, let's just hold it out here. The Earth, uh, sorry, the, I'm sorry the Earth is closed today. And that is how it felt for quite a while at the beginning. So I did, that was one of the early ones I did. Let's see. It's sort of an old-fashioned style for me. Heartstring samplery again. Boy, they must have a few. Maybe they weren't all. This was a Be Well and Stitch for sure, but I didn't type uh, or stitch the text on it yet. Maybe I will, but I like it like this also. Out. and the blue flower which ugh, I'm hooked on her I just watched her floss tube a second ago and uh, I have so collected several of hers I'm in love I'm gonna do her uh, is it when sleeping bee it's like a winter one um, and I'm doing the Halloween parade and I, I know I have a couple more I just can't think of it right now but she did a, a big one I like that So can you see how this, like, April, May, June was just keeping me a thousand percent occupied? <laughs> so those were all of those uh, that weren't, that were done and not mounted. And I did the one from Little Room in the Attic, Maria Demina, and she did a series of these. This is the one with her the girl on a laptop, something like that. Um, so she has three. There's, like, reading a book. Okay, I'm going to get interrupted a few times and I'm going to have a kid uh, edit this all smoothly together for me. So I was just talking about uh, Marie Demina. She's got a few styles of this sit, be well and stitch uh, or stay home and stitch. Um, so you can look her up. <clears throat> um, this is Brooks Books. It is a Grumpy Cat and it is so cute. It was my first one where I tried to do... Uh, like a 36 count, I think, and it felt very tiny, but I came out great, so I had to finish it into an ornament. Then I did a Housewives, because it looks like Sophie. Hello, Fall. So I'll put this on something and embellish it up. Um, Julie, Kansas City girl in the Colorado world, made uh, this for us when we all mourned our sweet RBG. Okay, here, Stone Street Stitchers, uh, it's, I think that's what it is, you can correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a nice, oh, I really got to bring these closer, I, I rewatched what I had done so far and I noticed I was like hanging off the, down here, so apologize. Alright, last year I did the um, Bloomtopia for Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I finished it. I just put it on sticky board, so I'll have to zhuzh it up, you know, but I think it came out great, and this is on that stiff linen, which I think is just um, DMC. Like, they make some linen. So that was theirs. And then the last one, I, I sort of finished it. 
into the frame. I don't like the way it, it, that I have it centered. It's kind of wonky. So I'm going to take it out. I'm going to get rid, lose the glass, um, put it on sticky board, and then put a layer of fabric underneath so it'll be kind of layered up. But this is um, Yellow Submarine. Um, who makes this? I have the whole the series. I will be able to tell you when I get into my whips. Um, because I have, it's a, it's a mystery, well, I'm being super uninformative, I'm sorry, uh, but there are, it's a series of six, and I'm doing, um, Strawberry Fields Forever is the next one, Blackbird, it's a Blackbird series, they're one of my favorites, and I have so many of theirs now, so, I love that, then I also bought the Octopus Garden, so I have three, and then I'll buy the three smalls that are left after but I'm making myself finish them before I buy more um so for the the be well and stitch there are more that I'll just share with you that I like cut the fabric and was about to do and stuff but I didn't get to but I'll just share with you so you can go do them um the create every day this was actually a Nashville freebie from Teresa Kogut she's got one I can't show you because it's just pattern um, and of course, Onward Noble Steed by Linda, Lindy Stitches. That one everybody loved. There's a free Biscornu that's Roses. And who is that one by? Paper sticking together. Okay. Hold, please. Alrighty. Oh, Anna Kerr, K I R. Anna A N N A. It's a, a Russian designer, so I just have to Google her if you want to see her free biscornu. Um, then of course Tiny Modernist did a Stay Home and Stitch, which I can show you because I'll cover up the patterns on him. Home Stitch Home, and then there's a Home Freebie. Home is our, is our safe haven, and that was the basic bunch. Yeah. I don't even know who that is. I mean, I'm, I'll have to go back and look them up, see if I'm missing out on some other good stuff. All right. This is the pattern, too, but Needlework Press has a really nice, like, a old-fashioned, I guess I can. I'm going to flash it to you, bing, so you can see it was flowers. Um, and that's a be well. Refuse to wilt. And Vicky and uh, Megan are the designers, I guess. Let's see. Need a work press. Just look that up. All right. We got another be well 2020. And do not panic. I'll cover up the bottom. Cover up the top. Is pretty much showing what the, what the pattern is. Summer House Stitch Works. They have nice stuff. Oh, uh, the... I love this moon one here. Wild Violet. Everybody loves Wild Violet. So it does awesome stuff. It's a moon with a chrysalis hanging down from it. Definitely look that one up. I am going to do that one. I've got to. Alright. Stay safe. Stay home and stitch. Oh, here's one from... Atelier Soe, oh man, Soed Adidi. I'm just gonna like fold it or I'm gonna cover it up so I can show you and you can look it up. Trust me, it's nice, it's worth the look up. I only pick nice things. All right, there's a relax and breathe with like a feather that is one of a kind baby design. That one is really pretty. All right, last one. And these are all these, most of these are ones I didn't see people do. And they're, they're free and they're out there. And I think they're nice. Oh, and there's a very detailed vase of flowers here. From Zoe Ellie, 1842. Okay. Just have to look that up. Reflets de soi avril is the, who the copyright is. I'm going to zoom in once more. Okay. 
that is it for those. All right, now, since I, I'm just gonna jump ahead to what I did this morning, which was look at Chatelaine, because I did start a long dog this year. I'm doing Pandemic and, um, and a Marabilia. I'm doing Gypsy Queen. So if I, I figure if I can start getting bigger and more intricate and fancy and beads and everything, then I then my next one I need to try is a Chatelaine. And I know they can be very intimidating, so I am going to do a free one first. Um, their current freebie, they have, um, I guess, seasonal or monthly freebies, and then they go away. So if you sign up, I just learned this. I could have been collecting them all along. Um, but this is their current one, the summer summer flowers that's what it's called so I'll try that and see it looks pretty straightforward um, trying to see if there's any special stuff in it DMC as silks and colors rainbow gallery uh, and a Mill Hill bead that's not bad all right what else have we okay I guess I can move to just gonna move some stuff out of the way it's going to start looking nice over here in a minute. <laughs> okay, this is finished, fully finished objects. There will be quite a few Frosted Pumpkin Citrary, because that's one of my favorites. Uh, their Valentine, True Love Bandit, he was a cute cutie. I, I just finished recently these two, The I got to stitch up you know, tie up the back for them, their hoop series. Happy spring. And this one I did dress up the back and, uh, I love you dearly. Those guys are so cute. Mm. Gotta get them all. I also have two Christmas that I've started. Hello winter and <sighs> so maybe something more holiday themed. I forget the name of the other one, but the, those are also nice. Last year, of course, was the nut, Nutcracker Parade, and I fully finished it into one of these things. <laughs> so then when I did Midnight Way for Halloween this year, I did the same thing. I mean, it's just so colorful and cute. All right, there's a, a few that I didn't show in my first um, video that are like things I did before I had my, the other floss tube um, were my beginning projects. I showed the one that was the very first one that my family brought me um, that got me started in it, but then there were a few that I finished and I framed them up and everything because I was so excited in the beginning and I only did like one project at a time. Um, that is adorable now. I will never go back to that. Uh -huh. But I love Lucky Cats. Clearly, I'm wearing one today. That was one of my first. Uh, down deeper in here are a couple more. A lot of you do the Stitching Book Club. And, of course, we did. This is the one I started with, The Secret Garden. I need to, when I feel like rejoining society and going to stores, which I still do not, I did go masked up with a friend to a Joanne once and it got real people-y real fast and I just ended up moving outside because the line was, once I was done, I, I just had to get out. It was so full of people. It wasn't comfortable um, with definitely not enough feet between us all, so... That's it. Then I haven't gone back to anywhere ever since. I just keep getting my groceries delivered for a full year. So someday, someday I'll go out and I'll buy the embellishments that are flower, like dried flowers or whatever can go around it and highlight this. This is a shadow box and then you'll be able to tell how 3D it is. All right. At Christmas, Wild Violet gave us this nugget and I was able to just whip it up pretty quickly I think I could put some padding or something I see some looseness I'm pretty persnickety about that I don't like a wrinkly framed object this was a previous year one of my early pumpkin ones why am I getting so much reflection there we go 
But I love little Frankensteins and Bride of Frankensteins. Monster, which we all know from reading the book now, which I will be getting to shortly from Stitching Book Club also. Now, Lindy Stitches gave us the most amazing... Last Halloween was like the best Halloween I ever had. I never did it as a child, so I didn't care about it or trick-or-treating. Um, but I had so much good stuff to stitch. Uh, so she did the cats. I miss this little tail right here, so I'll have to go back in and, and fix that. So that's why it's not like stored away yet. So that's week three. And then, I think this might literally be my favorite thing I've ever stitched. Just the full, complete, I love it. The Dracula. I love the shade in the shadow. And I would be alone with my thoughts when I may. It just came out so cool. It was also when one of my first using, like buying the whole, um, the correct fabric and the uh, variegated floss and everything, the fancy floss. So I love it. And this was our Frankenstein sit stitch along for Stitching Book Club. Oh, also amazing. I found this was a really cool, weird old frame I found on Amazon. Stacking up. Alright, in the beginning. So, aside from the Lucky Cat, I have two that I did. These are at, so this uh, B is on my, sorry, I flipped the screen on. If you notice from the beginning, my first part where I was just catching up, uh, the objects were on the opposite side. And then I realized, oh, if I don't switch it, everything I show, the text will be backwards. So I, I'm still getting the hang of it. Uh, anyway, this B is on my Instagram with all the information, like uh, the, so you can check the Instagram of the designer. Because this, I looked in the beginning, I wanted a B that looked real, and it's still the best B that I can find. It's a big, realistic B. And then this was, I think, a kit, like a dimensions kit that they got me also from when I was in bed. And that came together in like three days. I still love it. I think I could frame it better. I, I didn't, I wasn't aware of like making the mat match. I just, this is just a uh, Joanne, I think, mail order one. <clears throat> so then I did, and I already gifted to my mom um, a big uh, red nesting doll with a rose or flower in the center. Um, and it was pretty big, and I, I sent that to her this year. Uh, but this, was my first giant sized one that I had done that took forever and had a lot of back stitching and everything. And I just really enjoyed it because I, again, I wasn't doing 23 whips at the same time. So I was just picking it up and trucking along and it got done. <laughs> and I don't know why it was so cute. I think that's the only soda stitch I have. I thought I was just going to get all into them, but then I realized, oh, there's a thousand other <laughs> designers and I got to spread out my love. All right. So I made it through all the finishes. I am not sure how long this is going, so I don't want to take too long. I'm wondering if I should piece this all together, call it a day, and save some stuff to come back to you with, but I'm kind of on a roll, so I think I'll do a, t a little bit more, and then I'll, I'll get with him. I'll give you a break from me. Let's go with what's right in front of me. The recent Stitch Along for Stitching Book Club is uh, Sense and Sensibility, so we have concluded that. Got to think of some nice way to finish it. I'm sure she's going to give us a suggestion. That'll be nice. And, you know, I wanted to share this. I discovered a designer, and they have a year-long calendar. And look at the hashtag Joyful World Sal. And there's also hashtag uh, M-A-J-A-M-A-T-Y-A-S. Maja Matias. And it's a free pattern series. So it's a whole, I'm going to try to spread them out and not show the pattern. And I'll just ease it on up here. So these are examples. My printer kind of cut off the top, but it shows each month. And they come out. It's really gorgeous. So look them up if you want some more freebies since I'm on 
a roll of just giving you all the free stuff. All right, how about some haul? That kind of stuff is fun. Recently, we had Expo in place of Nashville since nobody can see each other in person. So we all ordered online and I love this one and it, it got sold out at Abbey Top Knot is where I did all my pre-orders. Um, while Away the Hours with the little song from Wizard of Oz. And it, can I get it in there? Let's get to you. It's a small picture too, so it's hard to zoom in on. Uh, but I got the Havana fabric to do it on. I love it. I'm going to definitely want to get more of that because there are a couple other uh, patterns that call for that now. All right. Butterfly cloche. And I did order the the fabric and it is on back order till like August. But you can see I have a thousand whips and I'm just going to make myself wait for that one. Even though this is literally the first one I wanted to stitch in April. I will await that fabric anxiously. I think instead I'll go ahead and do uh, Bendy Stitchies, Michelle. I've been watching her lately and I uh, joined her YouTube. The uh, personal is political. That's a fairly popular one. Um, Threads and Twine was doing a D sash and I grabbed that. And uh, a, a un my, everybody calls it their unicorn. I, my unicorn was literally a unicorn. And I love it, and I want to get that fabric, that text fabric, which I saw Abby Top Knot has. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the Yellow Submarine, which whatever for whatever reason I couldn't think of the title, but there's the, the pattern. And I didn't mention last time, these, this from my old stash from the 90s. I have two real patterns of Marjolaine Baston, and I am excited to do them. I feel like they were so overwhelming to me when I bought them. In the, so really, I've only been stitching for like two years, but I had tried to start it like 20 years ago. And I bought some stuff and have a few patterns and I had like the whole floss already purchased for them and everything. But the, each one was just like started and I gave up because it was too hard and I'd try something else and it still wouldn't go. So uh, these were definitely overwhelming for me back then. And now I look at them like, that is so small and easy. I can just whip it right out. All right, what else have we here? Okay, my spring, I don't know if you guys all get punch needle and primitive citra, but you should. Um, so I got the digital, so I just print out the ones that I want. And there are a bunch for spring. Also, there were two Be Well that I'm gonna do this month because they're bunnies. So Lila Studio, which we all love, has one called Be Well, and it is a bunny with a basket on his back with flowers in it. And then the Black Needle Society, which we all also love, and I finally did a subscription box. I got it, my first one will come in May and it's the rainbow one, and it's what made me join, because it's, I, it should be probably pretty exciting. I love all rainbows. So their um, free pattern is just called Honey Bunny, and it is adorable, it's perfect for spring. I'm not saying Easter because it's not really Easter to me. I never really celebrated that, but also uh, we only celebrate it in, um, by going up to Pennsylvania to my family. My aunt always hosts it, and I see my mom and aunts, um, and we can't go this year and couldn't go last year. So it's just not even, I'm not even cooking a ham or anything. I don't have spring decorations or Thanksgiving decorations because those are the two times we always visit family, and now we've had to celebrate them at home. So I, I did get a few uh, Thanksgiving to try to get into it for the family and I did cook and everything but Easter is just I'm not I'm not getting in the spirit of celebrating and doing all the stuff that my aunt does so great but I'll look forward to seeing her again and us all celebrating so I'm just gonna stitch stitch away the anxiety about everything <laughs> um, so Barbara Anna also, why do we all love it so much, so many designers? Because their their stuff is, like, consistently perfect. Um, but her punch needle and primitive stitcher uh, one for, it's got to be this, this month. I hope so. I did mix up some, going through some old issues and printing some stuff out, too. But spring. 
And who do we have here? Uh, Heart and Hand Ooh. has a bunny. I think this is a this is a series. Like they have fish and some other animal. I forget, but this one's perfect. And of course, Lindy Stitches, another consistently perfect one. Cat. We lost our cat recently, so I just like to. I couldn't stitch something that looked just like him yet. It just make, would make me sad the whole time I'm stitching it. So, but I, that one is a happy little calico. Um, we've got another Barbara Anna bunny one that used for hair. Uh, I am gonna do the Housewives Spring on some black that I have. It's an extra black. I think I could get those all that I just showed you done this month. They're small enough. This is another stack of older patterns that I just wanted to I either bought them or they were free, but everybody probably got this awesome fox from Barbara Anna. I'm going to flash it because otherwise I can't. I think it's called The Light. Yeah, The Light. Or Light. But that one. Fox holding the light. I am, that is called for Havana, uh, Havana fabric. And now that I see it, I'm definitely going to wait and order that for it. It should be amazing. I'm going to put it with that. So I have so many of Little Room in the Attic because I love her. I think I got cut off before uh, my computer said I was running low on space. Um, so I had to free up some space. The say I'll save the world. I don't know if I inspired her or if everyone nagged her about it after doing the one that I did where there was the computer looking out the window and reading a book series. On the pattern, it had this picture of the girl walking like that, and I was like, oh, I would stitch her too, and so she did that. I bet everybody asked her. put these opposite uh, opposing directions to grab so you're not waiting for me to whittle through papers here. Shuffling papers. All right, I really need to do this bird cages because I love it so much. Everything she does is gorgeous. And a lot of it has back stitching. That one, yeah, it does. It's just not black. Uh, we've got our girl on. The thread doing cross stitch. I did the other one. I don't know if you could tell. I did it with a purple hair conversion because I do. This is purple faded. I tried to do it fresh for you guys, and then I chickened out of recording for so long that it faded again. And then I decided, let me stop being like that and just talk to you guys. Um, the last one I want to do is for B, of course. So cute and fuzzy. I need to do all these. I need to stop just getting patterns and not doing them. All right. This is probably a good place to stop. And I'll just leave all this stuff here and record another day some more stuff for you. And not let it go a whole year in between. How about that? All right. Well, thanks for listening to me. And I'll see you soon. Bye.